Top 10 Strange Ways Animals Protect Themselves from Predators Survival of the fittest is not only about the qualities that make you outstanding from the rest of your group, it's also evading your predators. And this phrase rings loudest out there in the wild, where animals have to outrun or outsmart their predators in order to survive. If you can't imagine what it's like having to fend off predators for your life, then wait till you hear how animals protect themselves from the dangers of the wild. Welcome back to Info Junkie TV, where there's always something new to learn and satisfy your curiosity. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to learn all about things interesting and mind-blowing. Now, sit back, get comfortable, grab a snack, and let's get learning. Number 10. Ants will sacrifice themselves for the safety of the colony. We've all heard of how hardworking the ant is. Ants devote themselves to their colony for pretty much their entire life. From the day they are born, each ant has its own predisposed role, whether it's a hunter or gatherer, a soldier, or a defender of the queen ant. While ants are mostly harmless, their strongest quality is their loyalty to their colony. African wildfire ants, for example, are so faithful that they will sacrifice themselves for the sake of protecting their nest from attackers. Some types of ants will literally explode through their abdomens, releasing a toxic fluid that kills any invader, but sadly, also themselves. Number 9. Sea cucumbers turn into liquid to fend off predators. Sea cucumbers. If you've seen one, you'd probably think it's quite useless. They look like cucumbers laying at the bottom of the sea with no arms, no legs, making them the ideal meal for fish, other marine animals, and even some humans in Asia. But these little creatures can actually protect themselves from predators better than you think they would. In the presence of a predator, this sea creature can turn its body into liquid form. They do this through a neurological control mechanism that liquefies their solid tissues. This makes it easy for the sea cucumbers to hide from or escape the clutch of their predators. Of course, once they're in a safe space, they can go back to being their regular solid selves. Number 8. Potato beetles cover themselves in poop. Yes, you heard that right. While it sounds gross, covering yourself may very well fend off your enemies, although we wouldn't recommend it. A bug known as the three-lined potato beetle is fond of this habit. However, they only coat themselves in their own feces once they are in danger. How does that help? Besides the treacherous smell, the potato beetle's poop is in fact poisonous frass. Potato beetles feed on toxic plants known as alkaloids, which are poisonous to their predators. This defense mechanism comes naturally to these beetles. Rather than pooping downwards, the beetle's muscles contract, pushing the frass upwards onto their backs so that they have a hump of toxins on their back. If you're enjoying this list so far, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It helps the channel grow, and it helps more people see and have access to our entertaining, bizarre, and mind-blowing content. You know it won't take you a second. Number 7. Possums Play Dead Playing dead is one thing, but entering a catatonic state is another. When possums get threatened by their predators, they will first try to escape by running away and baring their teeth. But once the marsupial is attacked or caught unaware, their bodies push them into a dead-like state. Possums can feel threatened by four-legged animals like dogs, or birds like owls. They will literally drop to the ground, limp-bodied, and tongue jutted out, with their eyes either staring off into space or closed, and its breathing will slow down. To add on to the playing dead qualities, the possum will even discharge whatever's left in its bowels. If you try to shake it awake, the possum will simply not react. It might very well be dead, but the possum is actually alive and breathing. Possums will continue to play dead for hours or as long as they are in danger. Maybe playing dead to avoid school will pay off after all. Number six, stick bugs turn into twigs. Stick bugs don't look peculiar for no reason. The thin, long-bodied insects resembling twigs of the plants they feed on camouflage very well into their environment. It would be hard to spot one of these insects, and not only because of their thin bodies, but because of their defense mechanism. 
These insects in threatening situations will take their twig-like appearance to the next level. They will straighten out their bodies even more with their antennas stretched out along their bodies. If you were to see one in its defense mood, it would simply look like a twig. It will even take it as far as swaying its body with the breeze so as to really convince its predators that it is nothing more than a thin branch. Number 5. Lizards shoot blood from their eyes. The Texas horned lizard is not a lizard you want to mess with. The horned and fierce looking creature is covered in spikes, making it appear intimidating. But that is not enough to scare off its predators. As a defense mechanism, this type of lizard will literally shoot a stream of blood from its eyes to fend off its attackers. The stream can go as far as five feet directed straight at its predators' mouths. The blood is mixed with a nasty tasting chemical, which doesn't make it a tasty appetizer. However, this defense mechanism is not so good for the lizard, as it loses a third of its blood supply in the process. Don't worry though, if you ever do come across a Texas horned lizard, it won't be shooting a stream of blood at you. These lizards are not so fearful of humans to the point of attacking you. They might sit still, they might puff up, but they won't shoot you with their blood. Number four, turkey vultures vomit to protect themselves. This form of defense mechanism is not your ordinary kind, and it involves puking onto your enemies. Turkey vultures can vomit their food at a distance of 20 feet, meaning that it can very well keep its predators at bay. These birds learn the habit from a young age, with their vulture babies also vomiting on animals when they are frightened. But this means that the vulture must be fed well, otherwise, how would it puke? Turkey vultures feed on the carcasses of dead bodies, which helps produce a deadly vomit onto its predators. Turkey vultures aren't the only birds to do this. European rollers, a blue and brown bird, are also known to spew out a stinky orange liquid on animals that disturb or harass them. Camels are also known for spitting on their enemies, although that's slightly different. Number three, Spanish ribbed newts turn their ribs into spikes. The average human never considers using their own ribs for weapons, but the average newt does. This strange defense mechanism is used by this amphibian when they are attacked. The Spanish ribbed newt will move its ribs forward at a particular angle and then push its ribs through its elastic skin. The Spanish ribbed newt then ends up with a row of spikes bursting through the skin on each side of its body. Surprising enough, this doesn't break the newt's bones or damage its skin. Amphibians in general are blessed with the ability to quickly and naturally repair their skin with no surgeries needed. Number two, termites literally blow themselves up. Talk about selflessness. Very much like the ants we talked about earlier, termites will explode just to protect their peers. Termites live in organized social colonies, and so they must do what they can to protect their family, especially the king and queen. A colony can include a million or even more colonies. Like ants, each termite has a role, and in this species of termites in the French Guiana rainforests, some of the little buggers are sent on suicide missions for the sake of protecting their colony. The termites that blow themselves up are older ones, meaning that they don't function as efficiently as their younger peers. The older termite workers have explosive backpacks that fill up from their abdomen with defensive substances throughout their lifetime. And then when the time is right, the termites will mix these toxins with salivary gland secretions, which then create an explosion that paralyzes their enemies and kills the termite. And bringing us to number one, the hairy frog breaks its own bones to produce claws. Amphibians on this list really do have a thing for breaking their bones. This species, known as the hairy frog, is from Central Africa and is prone to breaking its own bones when it feels threatened. Similarly to the Spanish ribbed newt we mentioned earlier in this list, when the hairy frog feels threatened, the bones in its rear legs suddenly protrude downwards and juts out through the skin. There are other types of frogs that have bony spines that stick out of their wrists, so this quality is not uncommon in frogs. However, with a hairy frog, the bones only stick out during defense stance. It looks somewhat like a cat's claw, but without the furry texture to coat it. Studies are unsure whether these bones retract after like the newts. According to studies done, 
they have concluded that there is no evident muscle to pull back the claws. Curious of the result? They have sharp claws which they can use to attack any potential predators. It's not entirely known what happens to their bones after the hairy frogs relax, but we assume that, like the Spanish ribbed newt, their bones go back to where they were, while their skin revives itself. And that's all we have for you today. Let us know in the comments which of these defense mechanisms do you find to be the most bizarre? And tell us, have you heard of any other strange defense mechanisms that we haven't mentioned? Share them with the community. We hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to reading your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining content. Thanks for watching Info Junkie TV, and we'll see you next time.